great. Here is the step ladder tonight. The all international matchup. Cooley against Tabanainen. The winner takes on the spectacular Anthony Simonson. Appearing at back to back shows. Packy Hanrahan looks for his second win of the year in the top seed. Matt Ogle. One win from his second career crown first, as Randy pointed out, in singles. Here we go to Havanainen and Cooley. Truly a World Series of Bowling. Last time of the Scorpion, Santu appeared with Jesper Svensson from Sweden. <laughs> Sam Cooley gets us started with a strike. Speaking of haircuts, Santu told us in interviews this week that if he wins Sunday, noon Eastern on Fox World Championship, mm -hmm. he'll get his haircut. He has not cut it since he got to the States. Start of the season in January for the U.S. Open. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's what he said. Santu! All right. Beauty there. Great shot. Go with the number one seed because there's only one game that that player has to win. Santu. Ooh, that's high. Three, six, ten. Let's check out Santu's follow through. It's kind of a hybrid of. It's kind of a hybrid of Stu Williams. Cooley going with exotic gem on this right lane. Good looking shot. Right lane for Sam Cooley. Monday, 35 feet. Scorpion last night, 42, 48 tonight. Cooley looking for help, does not get it on the 10 pin. Six. 10 pin got that. He knocked off Chris Prather. I mean, he always seems like he's just so chill. He's going with blue coral venom. Satu. The seven and not the dreaded seven ten square. Late. I'd hate to see what would have happened if it stood up. Santu's a big boy. He keeps a journal, he told us about pre show. Tracking shots. There you go. Just ten pin. We'll hear more about that from Kimberly in a moment. Much different approach for Santu. Back to Sam, right lane. Perfect. Back to Kimberly Moore on that journal. That little figure eight move out to in. Left lane for Sam. Oh! Spare conversion. Whoa, just enough. Back to you. <laughs> Reigning rookie of the year. Right lane for Santu. Oh, ring and 10 pin good to bear, right? And that'll get it started. Really good shot working on three in a row, trying to be 10 down with a spare. Looks down to avoid a foul. He was so proud of that. Whoa, no foul. Because as he told us, it was a vote from the people. That's it, rookie year. Pretty cool. Yeah, right there. Look at those numbers there. He, he got that one a little bit. Cool. by 10. Works on a spare. Eighth frame. Big shot. Big strike. Yeah, usually when you hit them there, they all go down. Front part of the lane. One of the worst things that you can have happen in this sport is to have your bowling ball hook early. It just absolutely ruins the overall ball reaction. Another good one. That looks pretty good to me, Randy. Really good. Just inside fourth arrow. Foundation frame. Santu pull with it. 10. Does. 2 a.m. About 2.23. They watched last night. They're watching tonight. In Europe. Santu. This is going to send Santu to the locker room early tonight. Always thinking ahead. He has beaten to Hobbit Wait, what did you say? 
Santu Tahabanainen. That, yeah, that second one. Saturday, Sunday here in Wauwatosa. Saw him again last night. Back on TV. Strikes. Begins his second match. All right. Great in the step ladder here for the Shark Championship. Simonson to keep us perfect. Yeah! Ogle had one, Simo had one in the 20 games of Shark. Just put it out there. Cooley, ringing 10 pin. No, doesn't get Look at that, that uh, laid on that 10, but the machine got it. Sam went to an absolute on that right lane, covers the 10 nicely. Tour titles club, which he did. Our first non-strike, nine spare for Cooley. Fourth frame. So absolute down both lanes. There's so many bowling balls from all the manufacturers. It's kind of hard to stay ahead of that. What's he using there? That looks like a gem. Two titles this year. Big season. Simonson looking for help. No. Lane just out of. It's just out of bounds. You cannot play there. Simonson, now 22 or 23 in the short competition. Six frame for a 10 pin lead. Bringing 10 pin, good shot. Six, second to the right, up and around the 10. With a spare heel, be. Here, he'll be trailing by one halfway through this game two. Near perfection, this single pin spare conversion will wrap up the World Series. Simonson to go up by 11. Does just that. Very nice right here by Simonson out of the commercial break to carry that light tickler. Location one three pocket. Left lane to tie it up. It's high. Three, six, ten. But it looked like he just got a mitt full right here. This spare. Four for four. Could also be early hook on that left lane and in his last frame, frame seven. Seven pin stands. Come back up after this spare. Which he converts. Yeah. Hosting the World Series for a second straight year, about 10 minutes from downtown Milwaukee. See the max score there, 247, 238. Big shot, Simon. Ringing 10 pin. Cut out. Big shot, foundation frame for Cooley. For the first. Got it. Three left on this shot. Let's take a look at his finish. Yep. I wonder if he'll make another move. That was pretty high flush. Watch this. In danger of 
leaving almost the four pin could leave a solid nine on a hit like that I think Sam's gonna move another board left with his feet for the win For Sam Curley. Well, you got to give credit where credit's due. I mean, he stepped up and packed four in a row. One left on the second ball in the 10th frame, like I assumed he would. And ace the next two shots right behind it. I just made two and two on the left frame. So, finish. Chat with his tour reps and talk strategy for the next it's match. I can. Oh, my hand. I think I'd want two bags out. Well, quite a World Series for Simonson. We saw him USA versus the world. Two shows on the patterns. Between Packy Hanrahan, Sam Cooley, second and fifth seeds about to go head to head. Cooley's knocked off. Tahaba Nainen and Simonson so far. Third match underway. Can Cooley keep it going? Good start. Wow. Yeah, and it looked like another move left out of commercial. Pretty long break waiting for his opponent, Packy Hanrahan. Fifth year pro, one title this year for the 29 year old. Now lives in Wichita, originally from Connecticut. Packy Hanrahan looking for help on the 10 pin, won't get it. Tenpin got that, no worries. Two headed southpaw. And a, another nice start with a double early. Inside and through the face. Three ten baby splits. Not difficult to white on the bowl. It really isn't. Especially when you have it written down. Got it. Spare the game is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. You want to get moving fast with same day mortgage? You can go from application to approval. It's one business day. Time to get your dream home crazy fast. Learn more at rate.com. Packy. Seven pin, real name Patrick, by the way, but his dad's nickname, his dad's real yeah. name is also Patrick, but dad's nickname is Packy, so he's Packy. I think it's pretty cool myself. Good nickname. Absolute classic. Of course, I could watch Will Ferrell in anything. Left lane for Packy. 6 10. Whoa! What just happened? Whoa and wow! What was that? It's a spare. Yes, it is. <laughs> the six from the back of the pit for the spare and pack, he says. That's a big mark. That's a big strike. Yeah, and he's doing what you're supposed to do, just following that transition. And as soon as he sees a little friction, he moves inside a little bit farther. For the turkey, six frame, big shot, big result for the big guy, Packy Hatterhand. Fifth show. For the World Series of Bowling, Cooley. Yep. Does not want to fall to another Australian tonight. Needs it here in the eighth. Yeah, six pin. 
And then Cooley uses his thumb and he's running over everyone. Looking for one more step to put this away. Sometimes you catch a break. All down. Delivers. All he needs is any kind of mark if Packy strikes out. And now it's pretty much over. Too little too late, it appears. Who the Kokomo Kid was. Who was the Kokomo Kid? The late, great Don Johnson. The Kokomo Kid. Legend. Yes, putting it mildly. One of the greatest ever. One of the greatest coaches ever. And who can forget the infamous 299 at the Tournament of Champions, right? But another good week for Packy. But it is going to be Sam Cooley moving on and taking on Matt Ogle for the title here at the Shark Championship. Just got to keep it on the lane if you're Sam Cooley here. Which he does. It's official. It's a win for Cooley. He knocked off to Hobbenheimen. He knocked off. Simonson continues to climb the ladder with a win over Packy Hanrahan. We'll find out. Louisville's Matt Ogle. Awaits. Nice. Mo back in the mood for TV. Our confidence. This one's already over. That. He would perform well here tonight and make time to crown a champion who's going to take home the Shark Trophy tonight. Show number five from this year's World Series of Bowling. Ten minutes from downtown Milwaukee. Cooley has been outstanding so far. Wins over Tahava Nainen, Simonson, Hanrahan. First three game. First three games right here. Let's see where this one goes. Locked. Just a seven. That was fast. Punishes the seven pin. Matt Ogle from Louisville, Kentucky. How do you say it? Louisville. Not a boy. 38 years old. One title with his best friend, Sean Rash. Looking for a singles title tonight as the top seed. Bring it 10 pair. Below the knee? You got the story, Dave. You sure do. 10 pin there fell out of a tree. Fine. Scary moment, though, certainly. For Matt Ogle. It could have been, and I got it. Gavin's doing great. Of course, he he's shown off his. his. Right lane comes in high. Two. Basically, all he wants to do is try to get the ball far enough to the right of the three pin and cut it into the four. Tough conversion. No. See how Sam responds. Hates it. No. And he's trying to get a little bit softer to make sure it comes around the corner. Right. Lots of cover here. No. Back to back. Wow. And shocking collapse here. Back to back frames for Cooley. Oh, 
Matt tries to take advantage. And does. Matt going with a defender hybrid, Dave, on both lanes so far. And yeah. nobody higher than this man right here. Blocks another one here to go up by 33. Yeah. Big strike in the four. 33 pin lead for Ogle. Cooley needs it and gets it. Big loft. Left lane loft. Look at that. Oh, the messenger across the deck for the 10 pin. Back to 23 pins. Here's the loft. There's the rotation. Throws it right. And then the very friendly messenger coming across, taking the 10 out, and then he turns back and gives it the Mutombo. No, no, no. Ogle tries to go up 33. We'll do it. Yes, sir. By Cooley. His best finish so far. Wants a 43 pin lead. No help on the 10th this time. Mm. Stay the course. He didn't like it. That's why it's a miss. And a whiff on the 10 pin in an open frame. Damaging. Single pin spares is not a healthy way to to go about your business. Off a re-rack, Cooley tries to take advantage. Does not get help on the four pin, somehow it stands. Oh, on the four pin, got that, has a mark. But missed a golden opportunity. And lost. Big shot, seven frame. Takes care of business. Keep things very interesting here. It's a great season. Looking for a great shot. Double wood instead to eight. Match on TV. Good cover. cover nicely. Yeah, good cover. He got real soft with the speed, and the location was perfect and allowed the big hand to cover that two and the eight. Can't miss this one. All good. You know, we talked about it at the top of the show, right? 48 feet. Cut it to 10, a frame. You better believe it. Oh, baby, we got a finish here, bro. Foundation frame for the tie. Oh, it's high, I didn't like it. And left a lot, three, six, nine, ten. Huge conversion for Cooley. Gets it! Yeah, that's pretty good. Wants it right lane. Gets it! Come on, boy. Tries to get closer. Good shot. Got to cover. Pan. Got to cover it. Regroups. Gets it. Need seven. Keep it together, Matt. Still one more very important shot. Satisfying moment of the match. Sponsored by Snickers.
Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. First career singles title for Matt Ogle comes at the World Series of Bowling. Well done, Matt. Well done. You did it! Oh my god! And now the emotions are going to really flow for Matt Ogle, who's dealt with so much. It's not everywhere. Son Gavin, the injury we told you about, but he's doing great. Back home in Louisville, celebrating with his family. And there'll be a lot of celebrating here in Wauwatosa. Enjoy. Boy, go get that trophy. Trophy time, Matt. Go get it. Here's the winner, Randy. Well, I needed seven. He got it in, and thank, thankfully, it crosses over to get nine, and he weathered the storm. He weathered that missed ten pin oh, in the man. six, and Matt Ogle wins for the first time on the PBA Tour in a singles event to Kimberly. A very emotional Matt Ogle. You earned this tonight. You started out strong, and then that sixth frame happened. You had an open, and you struggled a little bit. How'd you turn it back around to walk away the winner? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a great support team. Uh, my reps, teammates, fans, all you guys are awesome. I just try to make the best shots I could and, and you know, keep it in the one-three pocket. When we talked earlier, you described your season so far as surreal. Now that you are a PBA titleist with a singles championship right here, how would you describe it? Speechless. <laughs> priceless. I don't know. I can't put words to it. It's amazing. And is there anyone you want to dedicate this ring to? Maybe an adorable 10-year-old boy who's at home and couldn't be here, who you absolutely gushed about today. Yeah, I love you, Gavin, Linda, all my fans back home, friends. I love you guys. Thanks. Congratulations on your win. Matt Ogle, victorious for the first time in a singles event on the PBA Tour. He paid his dues. Learned how to cast, learned how to make match play, learned how to make television, and then he learned how to win.